Hello, my name is Dr. Robin Jones. I'm the president and founder of Children's International Health Relief, a nonprofit 501c3 organization. The name of our project is Your Health Matters. It is a COVID prevention project for communities of color. For communities of color, the pandemic is a pandemic jumping on top of multiple existing epidemics. There's an epidemic of health disparities, poverty and low wage jobs, police brutality, and mass incarceration, making people of color more vulnerable to dying from the virus. The goal of our project is to get people of color to take the virus seriously. That is why we started giving out COVID prevention packets to our dental patients at their checkup visits. In our COVID prevention packets, we have a toothbrush, we have a face mask with our logo, Your Health Matters. We are seeking funding to mass produce these masks. We have floss and we have hand sanitizer. We have lots of health information. Information on how to build your immune system, COVID prevention tips, information on diet and nutrition, and information on oral health. Because a decayed abscess tooth is a source of infection in the body, which lowers one's immune response, which can make one more susceptible to catching COVID. We are seeking funding to start a youth entrepreneur mentorship program to teach young people how to make hand sanitizer and design and sew masks. The pandemic has forced us all to become more adaptable. Our kitchen tables are now classrooms, parents are teachers and tutors, and our junkie closets are now home offices. So my dental office has adapted. We are now a youth entrepreneur mentorship program. Last week, we did a pilot study. We taught four kids how to make hand sanitizer and two girls how to use the sewing machine for the first time. We taught Amazion, a 10 year old, who came to the dentist to have an extraction. After the procedure, we said, Amazion, would you like to learn how to make hand sanitizer? He was so excited. We also taught Alex, 11 year old, how to make hand sanitizer in the lobby while he was babysitting his two little sisters and his mom was in the back clinic area getting an emergency extraction. And then there's Daria, who we taught how to make hand sanitizer and how to use the sewing machine for the first time. And then there's Najaya, a 17 year old, who we taught how to sew a face mask. And lastly, we taught Jordan, my employee's son, how to make hand sanitizer at home, which he named Black Panther. So our pitch to ditch poverty is, it starts with the youth. It's our responsibility to give our youth a historical frame of reference by looking back in history so they can learn how our ancestors handled institutionalized racism, poverty, and oppression. Also, we like to teach them the story, what if there were no black people in the world? To make them aware that the majority of the things that they use in their daily lives were invented by black folks. We need to build up their confidence and self-esteem to teach them that they are not victims of their circumstances and then give them the tools to become co-creators of their own reality so they can build an economy based on service and compassion. Thank you.